Today we are going to talk about glomerular capillary filtration coefficient. We are going to discuss this topic in relation to our previous lecture, the determinants of GFR or glomerular filtration rate. So why is it important to discuss glomerular capillary filtration coefficient? It basically determines, it has an effect on GFR and it is also a determinant of the GFR. So before discussing glomerular capillary filtration coefficient, we will quickly revise what we are basically uh, discussing and how uh, this topic is linking with our previous lectures. So we are discussing the urine formation process and we have previously discussed so many times that inside the kidney, the urine formation begins at the level of nephron and the first step in the urine formation is filtration. So filtration begins when the afferent arterioles brings the blood into the nephron and it filters the fluid into the Bowman's capsule. The filtered fluid or the filtrate moves through the nephron tubules and it forms the urine. The remaining blood from the glomerulus goes back into the efferent arteriole then it divides into the peritubular capillaries and the peritubular capillaries may either reabsorb some fluid or may secrete some substances. Now depending upon the uh, chemical nature of the substances which are filtered there are a lot of factors which will determine the rate of filtration and that is the glomerular filtration rate. Now coming towards the filtration uh, we discussed in detail so many steps about the filtration process. That filtration basically occurs through this membrane, which is the glomerular capillary membrane. It has three layers. It has negative charge. It has, it has some uh, fenestrations and some slit pores. It is basically a barrier to the filtration of pro plasma proteins, but it also helps in the filtration of water and salute, different types of substances. So how this glomerular capillary membrane helps in filtration and how it basically stops some of the substances like plasma proteins from getting filtered. Now, our discussion is basically at the level of filtration and filtration is occurring at the uh, glomerular capillary membrane. In our last lecture we discussed the, the determinant of the GFR and GFR is basically the rate of filtration, the speed with which the filtration is occurring and we uh, simplified the diagram. This is basically the glomerulus, it is the glomerulus, it is the Bowman capsule and this is the Bowman capsule. Now we discussed this, the different determinants of the GFR which are the forces that are active in the glomerulus, the hydrostatic forces and the colloid osmotic forces in the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule. We discussed these forces in detail and these forces determine, these forces determine the net filtration. Some of the forces are favoring the filtration, some of the forces are not favoring the filtration or opposing the filtration process and their calculation led to the net filtration pressure which is the net filtration pressure of 10 millimeter of mercury and the equation to calculate the GFR was basically GFR was the sum of or it was the product of capillary filtration coefficient into net filtration. Now we are coming towards the glomerular capillary filtration coefficient because we have discussed this thing in detail in our last lecture. To properly understand these things you must watch all the lectures about the renal system. Coming towards the glomerular capillary filtration coefficient as we discussed here that the GFR, the glomerular filtration rate or the rate or the speed with which filtration is occurring at the uh, glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule, that rate, that speed of the filtration is the product of coefficient into net filtration. Now we know that the net filtration is 10 millimeter of mercury. We know that net filtration pressure is the 10 millimeter of mercury and we also know that, know that the GFR glomerular filtration rate is 125 ml per minute. So with this data we will now discuss the glomerular capillary filtration. Glomerular filtration uh, sorry glomerular filtration coefficient when calculated from this equation it turns out to be the coefficient is GFR by net filtration. The equation for the GFR is coefficient into net filtration. So if we want to calculate a coefficient then According to mathematical equations, the coefficient becomes GFR by net filtration. So coefficient, the capillary filtration coefficient, the KF is GFR by net filtration. We know the GFR is 125 by 125 ml per minute. The filtration rate is 125 ml per minute. And the net filtration pressure, as we calculated here in this lecture, it is 10 millimeter of mercury. So 125 by 10 is 12.5 ml per minute per mm of mercury. Now this thing is for both the kidneys. This is for both the kidneys. Now if you want to calculate, if you want to calculate the coefficient, the glomerular capillary filtration coefficient for 100 gram of kidney, it turns out to be 4.2 ml per minute per mm of mercury per 100 gram of kidney. So this 4.2 ml per minute per millimeter of mercury per 100 gram is 400 times more than capillary filtration coefficient of any other capillary of any other capillary so the filtration coefficient the filtration coefficient now we must also know that the filtration coefficient it basically depends upon the 
surface area it depends upon the surface area and it also depends upon the permeability mathematically we can calculate it like gfr by net filtration but it principally it depends upon the area of filtration if suppose for example these are the capillaries the glomerular capillaries if the surface area of these capillaries increases here if this area increases or the permeability now we discussed about the permeability previously that there is some negative charge on the membrane and there are some pores now these the charge in the pores the slit pores and the fenestry they determine the permeability these two factors these two factors determine the filtration coefficient not only in the kidney but it also determine the filtration coefficient of any other capillary but this 4.2 ml per minute per mm mercury per 100 gram of kidney mass this is very very high or this is around five four hundred times more than capillary filtration coefficient of any other capillary so it means that the filtration the filtration is very high the filtration is very high normally this value this 4.2 in any other area of the human body is around 0 0.01 ml per minute per mm mercury per 100 gram of any other area except the kidney so in the kidneys the filtration coefficient is very high and it contributes in the high filtration rate and the high filtration rate is very much important in the urine formation and because because the filtration because the filtration is the first step in urine formation and filtration depends on the surface area and the permeability and both the factors basically uh, determines the filtration coefficient and that's why that's why the filtration coefficient the filtration coefficient the value of the filtration coefficient in the kidneys the cap glomerular capillaries in the glomerular capillaries is very high now why are we discussing this thing why are we discussing this thing why now we are discussing this thing because there are a lot of factors which can either increase the filtration or decrease the filtration. If any changes occur in the capillary, if any changes occur in these capillaries, the glomerular capillaries, and if those changes thicken the membrane, the glomerular capillary membrane is thickened, for example, or the number of capillaries are decreased per 100 gram of kidney. If either the number of capillaries are decreased or if the number of capillaries remain the same but the membrane becomes thickened, then the filtration coefficient will fall. So if the filtration coefficient fall, the filtration rate will definitely decrease. The filtration rate will definitely decrease. The urine formation process will definitely decrease. So it will overall affect, it will have an overall effect on the functions of the kidney. Now there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of conditions in which this the value of filtration coefficient can decrease for example hypertension high blood pressure or diabetes mellitus which are very common conditions and they are a very big cause of renal failure they lead to thickening of this membrane they lead to thickening of the capillary membrane so due to which due to thickening the area and the permeability both decreases both decreases when the area and the permeability decreases the gfr falls and the filtration falls and when the gfr and the filtration decreases the filtration coefficient also decreases and ultimately there is a, there is an abnormality which leads to abnormal urine formation process or abnormal uh, kidney or renal functions so that in itself can lead to a lot of problem but the thing is that we were the question was that why are we discuss filtration coefficient and the answer is but because the filtration coefficient is very much important for the normal filtration for the normal gfr for the normal permeability and the normal area anything any abnormality any abnormality that will uh, destroy the structure of the glomerular glomerular capillaries or disrupt the filtration process or uh, this or decrease the surface area of filtration that will that will definitely de decrease the urine formation and that will defi definitely have a an adverse effect on the renal functions thanks a lot for watching the video